Hi there, I'm the KJ7NLL, and today I'm going to talk to you all about this antenna behind me, and I'm also going to talk about the control panel under the deck. So first things first, let's just start off with the control panel under the deck. Here we go! So here we have our Scilabs uh, microcontroller chip, which you have seen in uh, other videos of mine. And we also have here two of our uh, rocket boards, which all of our rotors you can plug into. And you might notice, not only is there two for phi and theta, elevation and azimuth, but there's also one more for focus. And we hooked up a um, motor to our telescope to allow us to be able to control the focus uh, the same way that we can move the other um, antenna rotors and that just mounts up on top of the antenna. So here we have our Scilabs control board and what that does is the Scilabs, not Scilabs, uh, Raspberry Pi board. Um, so its only purpose is to be a wireless access point for the Scilabs chip. So here you can see our RTC or real time clock right here and that real time clock uh, basically keeps all of the date and time information for us and uh, that allows us to track satellites with uh, TLEs or two-line elements. And next we have this which is an RC filter and what it does is it reduces the noise from our potentiometers coming down and this just cleans that up so it can be a nice pretty signal for our uh, Scilab support. And so here now we have our fuse box. It's very simple. It just has a couple of covers and it has a, a bunch of one amp fuses. That's all, most of them, except for the bottom here. And that's a five amp fuse for our uh, ground bus. Okay, and so here we also have a 3.3 volt bus for our potentiometers. And that's about it to show you here. Now I'm going to show you this. Here we have the uh, Theta antenna rotor. And uh, what it does is it moves the antenna around, okay? And so the way that works is we have this little cover here, and that covers just all these connections. And that is our better rotor. Here we have our antenna, and that ball bearing on this plate here, it makes it really easy to turn. So I'm gonna not, which keeps it from blowing in the wind. It really likes to blow in the wind. And then, uh, just let that go up there. And then we'll give this thing a spin. So our real antenna rotor would be able to spin it actually faster than this, about this fast. And that's our real antenna rotor. So our antenna has a huge beam, but the beam that is really important is the telescope. And that telescope beam is very, very much smaller, about maybe 1 to 1.5 degrees, uh, compared to our antenna's basically 45 degree beam. So here we have our telescope, and it was connected on to the mount up on the antenna. And we were just playing with things and testing things out. And we thought it would be cool if we could get a picture of the moon. So we uh, did a track on the moon, and we tracked the moon, and we actually ended up getting a picture of it. And that will be this picture that we're going to jump to right now. Now we will have some time lapses of putting up the antenna.
in this uh, today, we went through the tour of how we actually are able to control this antenna all around to all the positions where we want it to go. Uh, we control it with a laptop wirelessly from in the house. And so, really what we're doing here is um, just getting this antenna ready to contact the ISS. So the next video is going to be an attempt of contacting the ISS. And uh, so stay tuned for that and we will see you contacting the ISS.